Ah, tá puta mesmo. Dispara, caralho! Tá fazendo muito. An unusual criminal. This is the story of Seal, the rarest Cape Verdean gangster to ever come out of Covid Amora, one of the most dangerous slums of Amadora, Lisbon in the 90s and early 2000s. Seal was an unusual criminal that made other criminals and the police also tremble. Wanted in multiple countries across Europe. He had authorities scared for their lives and other criminals ready to commit crimes on his orders. He supplied drugs and guns across the most dangerous neighborhoods in Amadora and other areas around. Seal real name was Osvaldo Vaz and at 27 years old he was the most wanted man in Portugal, with a variety of crimes in his criminal record such as, murder, assault, weapons, and drug trafficking, and was the first person to be killed by the Go Portugal Public Security Police Special Operations Group. Covid Amora is an area dominated by crime for decades where till this day murders, robberies, drugs, and guns, shootings between rival gangs and police brutality, are usual occurrences. Covid Amora started off as a farm called Quinta do Audiero abandoned in the 50s, the first residents living in the area dates back to the 60s, fleeing poverty from rural areas of the country. Residents lived in wooden tents and used the land for wheat cultivation. In the early 70s was when the first wave of Cape Verdean immigrants started populating the area. Being close to Lisbon city center and having easy access to public transports allowed this population accessibility to jobs and other services like education and health care. It's estimated that the total population in this area is around 5,000 people of different ethnicities and cultural backgrounds. The majority being from Cape Verde but also having significant presence of immigrants from Angola, Mozambique, and Guinea-Bissau that today is the first African narco state, but that is a story for another day. Covid Amora as the layouts like a favela in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil being one of the biggest slums in Europe if not the biggest in West Europe. Back to the main story Osvaldo Vaz also known as Seal very little is known about his early days only that he was born in Cape Verde in 1975 moved to Portugal as little boy the exact age is unknown. As a young boy he had the dream of becoming a footballer, at 13 years old in 1988 he played for Benfica, a very well known football team in Portugal using a fake identity, but he was caught and ended up being excluded from the team. His teammates that grew up to become actual known football players like Manaki and Bruno Bastos commented CM News, a Portuguese newspaper, on how they were surprised that he became the notorious figure in the Lisbon underworld because he didn't show indications of someone that was prone to commit crimes. He was very calm and respectful to other teammates and a trustworthy person, and had potential to become a football player, he used to play a fence and was good we both feet. So they were shocked to find out who he became later. His coach Arnaldo Tixera after finding out who he became, regrets no helping him out more after he was kicked out of the club. He said if he knew he would have went and picked him up in his neighborhood and take him to try his luck in different football clubs that may have gave him a chance. He was impressed to say the least with his list of accusations that included murder, robberies, drug trafficking, extortion and his inexplicable ways to escape prison. After being kicked out of the club, that's how the story of the notorious seal started. At 16 was the first time he got arrested for suspicion of robbery, when he turned 18 was when he went to prison for the first time for armed robbery he was sentenced to 10 years and sent to Caxias Penitentiary but he wouldn't stay there for long, because 11 months after he got arrested he escaped prison. Back in the streets he continued to commit crimes, until he got caught again and sent to a prison called Santa Cruz do Bispo Penitentiary, but once again he escaped. In 99 he was seen by the police, but when police tried to apprehend him Seal started shooting at the officers, before getting arrested. Marcelo a police officers at the scene during the shootout, 
years later in an interview stated that when Seal tried to shoot him he had no expression in his face, he says that he had a very cold demeanor about him. Once again Seal was arrested and once again for the third time he escaped prison but this time he wouldn't stay in Portugal. In 2001 he went to Belgium and not long after to Holland where allegedly he killed a police officer during a bank robbery. Wanted by the Dutch authorities, Seal decided to go back to Portugal where he felt at home the most. So once again he was back in his hood Cova de Mora, but he did not just stay there he kept moving around going to different neighborhoods in Amadora, still maintaining his presence in Cova de Mora. Back in those days neighborhoods in Amadora and other areas were very difficult to be accessed by the police because of the hostility towards authority. Most of the time police were received with rocks bottles or even gunshots by gangs and residents in the area. Sometimes even when called, police used to deny entering in certain areas and by the time they did, whoever they were looking for would be gone to a different area or would be hidden in a different address and Portugal do not have as many CCTVs like others developed countries in the West. Back to the story Seal was so feared and respected that when he was around crime rate not just in Cova de Mora but in surrounding areas of Amadora used to increase. But he was not loved by all, independent drug dealers were forced to sell drugs for him, or they wouldn't be able to sell. Seal used to provide different neighborhoods with drugs and guns. Independent drug dealers afraid of him used to warn police that he was back. And it was said that he wouldn't allow them to make money in the area, saying that he would kill anyone even police, and was often seen walking around with three to four bodyguards all armed with firearms. 26 of October of 2002 was the beginning of his downfall, during a patrol in Santa Filomena Street police sees two individuals that looked familiar to them, being Seal's brother known as C.E. de Verde and Seal. When passing by them, police officers and SEAL exchanged looks between each other, said the police officer present that day later in an interview in 2009 that during the exchange of looks, SEAL didn't display any emotion, he did not act like someone that was wanted, because of his chilled demeanor police weren't sure if it was really him. Coming back around minutes later, they drove past them again, that's when hell broke loose guns shots were fired towards the car, so police fled from the scene, straight to the emergency room, the same police officer that gave the interview in 2009 was hit in the head and shoulder but luckily survived to tell the tale. October 28th of 2002 at around 11 in the evening the GO Public Security Police Special Operations Group, set up an operation to catch the most wanted man in Portugal, SEAL. In an area not far from Amadora called Casal de Silveira in Odivelas. Around midnight Seal was seen living a house with a friend. Seal jumped in the passenger seat of a white Renault. Eis o suspeito. O furgão da polícia atravessa-se para travar a passagem ao Renault 19, branco, onde seguia Celé e um amigo. É provocada uma colisão. Uma segunda carrinha surge por trás e impede qualquer fuga de automóvel. Vai em cima dele, em cima dele! Vai em cima dele, que ele vai fugir para cima! Para o outro lado, ele está aí, está aí um gajo a correr! Celé sai do carro na tentativa desesperada de mais uma vez fugir. As autoridades, na fuga, atinge a tiro um elemento da PSP no antebraço. Tenta escapar para um terreno baldio. Ao saltar a vedação de ferro, fica preso. Dispara contra os agentes da polícia. Os elementos do GOI respondem. Celé é atingido. Informe aqui que está a coordenação. Informe aqui o que é que está a passar. Vinte e oito balas por todo o corpo, duas na cabeça. 
este mesmo baleado nunca largou a arma que tinha na mão. Naquela madrugada morria o homem mais procurado pela PSP. When they started to drive off, they were blocked by police. Once again Seal wasn't going without a fight. He jumped off the car running and started shooting at police hitting one of the officers. That is when police started shooting back. Seal got trapped trying to jump a fence. Despite having his arm stuck he kept shooting at the officers. 42 rounds were fired by the police hitting Seal 26 times. In October 29th of 2002 at around 1 o'clock in the morning. One of the biggest gangsters that Portugal ever seen died with 26 shots, two to the head. Police said that even after he was shot 26 times he did not let go of his gun. The manhunt ended. A relief for those who hated him and feared him and a sad day for those who loved him. The man that prison locks were not enough to keep him in, the man that had Amadora in his hand, made Covid Amora a hot spot had other criminals afraid of him and police ducking from his bullets, it's fair to say that Portugal till this day hasn't seen another one like him.